This next story doesn't smell very pleasant, but the stinks in it are being put to good use. You'll be glad you don't have smell vision as of right now. <laughs> oh yeah, because reporter Raven Richard is taking us to the Cincinnati Zoo, also known as the greenest zoo in America, to show us how cooking animal poop is saving the planet. Poop is probably your toddler's favorite word, and here at the Cincinnati Zoo, it's actually theirs too. One of the first things uh, that kind of struck me was how much poop we have. What a way to start a conversation. Mark Fisher is the vice president of facilities at the Cincinnati Zoo. We were sending to the landfill, and there's got to be a better way. Two million pounds of it every year. It just doesn't pass our, our sniff test here. See what I did there? And that's where this thing comes in an aerobic biodigester with the help of a company all the way in Ireland. It takes all of our organic waste, and I'm talking, we take the bobcat, you know, we load it fish, in here food, lit. manure, grasses, everything that's organic here at the zoo, we can put in this unit. Um, and essentially, it's, so it's an aerobic digester that turns uh, and kind of cooks the material, uh, gets all the pathogens out of it and breaks it down. So what comes out of it is reduced by weight and volume by over 80%. The final product is Fiona Lizer. So we'll see if that sticks, but I, I kind of like it. So I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna hold. It's the unofficial name, but I'm sure the Fiona fans will love it. That fertilizer will be used on their farm in Warren County that grows food for the zoo animals. It will also be used to make the soil quality better for the zoo's neighbors in Avondale. This is just a trial run. The aerobic biodigester is using 20 to 30% of the zoo's waste right now and it's taken more than a decade to finally find a solution. This type of technology at this scale is a first in the city. There's no one else doing this here in this town or quite frankly anywhere within 100 miles that I know of. Since I've already gotten about a dozen phone calls from other zoos around the country after some social media posts saying, let me know how that goes because it works for you. We're going to do it too. This fits in with the zoo's plan to be net zero by 2025. After it goes through tests, this fertilizer will soon be in your hands. At the Cincinnati Zoo, Raven Richard, WCPL 9 News. <laughs>